Hello everyone, this is Seher from Easy Peasy and the topic that we are going to discuss today is called as binary fission. Binary fission is asexual reproduction in which the single cellular organisms, specifically the prokaryotes, divides into two and this is asexual reproduction so the daughter cells will be genetically identical to their parents. Now, in this prokaryotic cell division or the binary division, the first step will be the initiation of DNA replication. So we have this single cellular organism over here and inside the prokaryotes, the DNA usually present in the form of ring. So this is the chromosome. And on this chromosome, we have a specific site from where the DNA replication is going to start and that site will be called as origin of replication. So origin of replication is present on both strands. So this is origin of replication, this is the inner strand and this is the outer strand of chromosomes. Now the DNA replication machinery is going to come that is called as replisome in which we have a DNA polymerases, RNA primer, and all the other things that are necessary for the DNA replication. So over here you can see that we have two circles and we have two points of origin of replication and both of these DNA replication machinery is going to start the replication at the same point. So the replication in prokaryotes are bidirectional. So this is a beautiful picture showing you how it's going to do the bidirectional thing. So these dotted lines are representing the new daughter strands and the solid line is basically showing you the parent strands and they are simultaneously replicating the DNA in the prokaryotes. Okay, now this is a prokaryotic organism that is going to divide in a normal circumstances. And that's why the prokaryotic cell division is very quick. But for example, this prokaryotic cell organism is present on a petri dish where we want this prokaryotic cell to divide rapidly. It has all the ingredients it needs to replicate. So at that point, the replisome that we need to replicate the DNA is not two, but actually more than two. So over here, as you can see, more replisomes are here. And the DNA is replicating in a tremendous fast speed. And that's why this binary fusion is so quick. And we have lots and lots of prokaryotic organism available within minutes. Now, inside this prokaryotic cell, we can see there are small green circles present inside the cytoplasm. These green circles are basically called as Fitz Z protein. We will discuss the function of this protein later on in this video. But right now we are going to the next stage and that stage is called as chromosomal segregation. Now chromosomal segregation will not be done after the DNA replication in prokaryotes. Rather this process will be done simultaneously with the DNA replication. And the proteins that are going to help us in this chromosomal segregation will be called as par ABS system. Now, what is that system? Let's look at this picture first. So again, this is the chromosome of a prokaryotic organism. And this ORIC is the origin of replication region. If you look at more closely at this region, we can see that there are small parts present beside the ORIC and that is called as PAR-S site. This PAR-S is a DNA sequence that is located near the origin of replication and it serves as the anchor site for the segregation of this chromosome. The second thing that we can see right now here is the PAR-B proteins. PAR-B protein is present in the form of a pair and the function of this PAR-B is that it's going to bind on the anchor site that is PAR-S in order to start the process of chromosomal segregation. 
Now, the last part is part A. Now, how the part A is going to work, let's look at this picture now. Now, over here, we have the origin of replication that is representing an orange circle over here and over here. Then we have replisomes and we have two replisomes, so it is present over here. And then we have PAR B protein that is attached with the PAR S site present near the origin of replication. So we cannot see PAR S in this picture, but we do know that PAR S is present near the origin of replication. And these blue arrows, as you can see over here, is basically the PAR A proteins. Now the PAR A protein is basically an ATPases that is forming a gradient inside the cell. That is going to help the cell chromosome in order to move apart towards their side pole to complete the process of chromosomal segregation. So with the help of PAR A protein that is creating gradient in the cell, the cell will look like this. So now you can see that we have a polar tether in the end. The origin of replication with PAR B protein is now present on the side. And the replisome is present in the center and they are doing its part. They are keep replicating the DNA while the chromosomal segregation is also occurring simultaneously with this replication. And in the end, when the chromosomal segregation is almost going to be complete, the cell will look like this. So over here, you can see that maximum DNA replication is done and they are already on their side poles. A little is left. And in the end, when the DNA replication is done, the chromosomal segregation will also be done. There is another name of this process and that is called as DNA relay ratchet mechanism. Okay, the next step of this process is called a septum formation. As we discussed before that there are some green circle proteins present in the cell called as Fitz Z protein is going to make a ring like structure in the middle of the cytoplasm in order to divide this cell into two daughter cells. Now how this process is going to done, let's look at this picture. In this picture, we can see some new names and having some new proteins here. Let's discuss what are the functions of these proteins and how the septum formation is going to start. Right now in this cell, the nucleoid is not replicated and segregated, but the new proteins are still attached to this nucleotide. Now the first protein is this triangle protein and this protein name is SLMA. Now the function of this SLMA protein is to prevent the cell division septum formation while the nucleotide is still in the center. Next, next protein that we can see in this picture is this purple box protein and this is MATP. MATP function is that it involves in the positioning of this Z ring in the mid of the cell and it also helps in nucleoid segregation inside the prokaryotic organism. The next proteins that we can see is in circle. They are orange circle here and they are called as min C, min D and min E proteins. These proteins are basically the proteins that prevent the FITZ polymerization at the pole. In this picture, the FITZ protein that is making a circle here is represented by these blue things present in the corner. So these proteins are preventing these FITZ proteins to not polymerize at poles through pole to pole oscillation. Now, when the DNA replication and DNA segregation is going to get completed, the cell will look like this. So now here you can see that DNA is already segregated and towards your pole. At this point, this FITZ proteins are assembling in the middle of the cell and going to make the FITZ ring. Now, after that, some proteins are going to come and that proteins are represented in green circle here. These proteins are called as septation proteins. Now why they are called as septation proteins? Because this is not a one protein that is coming here. 
actually there are a bunch of different proteins it's a complicated system so they are coming here attaching themselves with the ring in order to make sure that cell cytoplasm is going to divide properly and now the cell will look like this now in this picture as you can see the all of its Z proteins are present in the middle with the septation proteins there and now the cell will divide into two similar daughter cells this system is almost similar in all different types of bacteria, whether it's E. coli, bacillus or streptococcus they are similar in almost all type of bacteria over there that's it for now thank you very much for watching this video if you like it please subscribe this channel Thank you. Bye-bye.